Hello again, everyone. It is your Black Knight. And this video, this is going to span over some time here because of, of course, the ridiculous cooldown on selling cars. But I need, I need garage space. I mean, I mean, I need some garage space. And so, this garage, we're probably going to do some, some liberations of cars. I mean, I've got two... Thunderbirds are two Feodis, two Tornados, two 57 Chevys, convertibles. I mean, I, originally, this was a hardtop, this was a convertible. That was the deal. I had one of each, because I do like them, even though they're ridiculously slow. Uh, when you upgrade the, you know, a car that's a hardtop to the custom variant, you, it turns it into a softtop. And I did not realize for the longest time that this was a softtop. I thought you just got stuck with a black roof. I, one of the stupidest videos probably I've ever made is me getting rid of a custom tornado because I thought you couldn't change the color of the roof and that it was a hard top. I did not know that that's a rag top. So, we have a rag top. We have this rag top. To be honest, I like the, uh, the non-custom one better. Stock versus stocking. What it comes down to is, look, it's the proportions of the wheels. The wheels in that one look tiny. It's the same car, and yet somehow it looks bigger and bulkier because the wheels aren't the right size. That's the kind of wheels I want on it. But, since I can always grab one of these off the street, and this has got a lot of money invested into it, and I can do a lot with it. We're going to do some heavy customization of this at some point. Then this one is gonna go we're gonna get rid of that one and also over here this green one which i may change back i'm gonna change this back to its original silver i think that's because you know the the line i went through a lime green phase here the, the dew yellow rather whatever it is but I, I think i'm gonna change it back to its original colors so i remember which one it is and the pink one i like the pink one don't get me wrong and the pink one's really cool but there's this car called the Peyote Gasser, which I think would look even... But what we're going to do is we're going to... We, when we get rid of this one, we'll buy the Peyote Gasser and do up in the same colors. Like, we just did upgrades to this car. So it'll be a little bit of, a little bit of you know, fantasy going on there. We'll replace this one. We'll Gasser this one up. So then we'll still have two Peyotes, but at least we'll have a different car. <sighs> the Hot Knife. I don't know. I mean... I don't know if it does... I've never had a paint scheme on this that I really 100% liked. This is okay. I can't do it up like the proper Eliminator car. You know, because that's the way that... You know, maybe we'll redo it in red before we get rid of it. Just so we can have... You know, because that is... It's the Eliminator body style. The uh, you know, ZZ Top Eliminator car. But they, the way they have the two-tone, you can't do it upright. You know, it's... You can do it all red, I guess. But then not have any stripes on. There's no liveries. It's, uh, that one's. This is a keeper, no question about it. I mean, that's that's uh, that's one of the later ZZ Top videos. The one for from I got to get paid. That's what that's supposed to be an homage to. And you know the fact that uh, they changed the, uh, the the thread. I think this is the are these off road. I think these might be either. There might be muscles. I forget. How I got the black wheels on that. This one, actually, I think this is similar to one of my Transformers. I forget from the, the laser rod years, but now I'm keeping that one. It's, it's, it's a good one for now. I, I don't see myself liberating that. I like the paint job too much. Obviously, not getting rid of any literatures. The Hermes rod. So, at any rate, let's pick one to do immediately. Which one? Oh, yeah, I'm not getting rid of the Joker Mobile. No, that's. Which one goes first? Well, the only one that I'm really, you know, that's that's going to make a space for me is going to be this one. Because I'm not going to get another hardtop tornado in the short term. So let us say goodbye to, oddly enough, the tornado that I like a little bit more. I think, I think I have burned enough time since I sold my Rapid GT in another video. To, uh, to get rid of this one. If not, we'll just have to let it sit for a little while longer. And at least you knew 
at this one. 69TRM876. I don't even know if this has insurance on it. It might have just been grabbed. But we'll get some money for it. Not a fast car by any stretch of the imagination. We take the last ride here. Maybe that's what we'll call this video, Last Rides. And I'm just going to, as I go through the fleet, just keep adding to this video and you can, it's going to be a, a remembrance of the cars I had and then got rid of for various reasons. There's other garages that are going to be what involved, of course. What miracle did you want me to perform? This vehicle. We modified a pennies. I already did that. We're just going to go down here. Can we... First of all, let's look just out of curiosity. Yeah, it has full coverage. Do we have, did we power this up? No. So it's not going to be worth a whole lot. But at least we got a space free. Let's do the time warp again. Okay, don't think of this as setting the pink peyote or the green peyote, which I'm going to make the gray peyote again. Think of this as sending it off to be turned into an amazing gasser. Because that's going to happen. They just look cool. I'm willing to bet that's not the case in real life. I'm willing to bet I realize that a 50 is from the 50s. So you can't expect them. Well, you might expect more than what you get here. I've never had the opportunity to drive one. But, you know. There's still a lot of life left. Uh, we'll see. Let's see up here. Okay, not going to be a big money thing. It's not even really gaining a spot thing. We do eventually. Man, I'm getting a gas. I'd like to wait till we what get. What brings you in today? You feel like everything goes on sale at some point. But I won't, won't hold off forever here. I'll not a ton of money. Does it put us over the? Does it tip us over to fifty one? Not quite. No. Well, let's call up a car that's on the bubble. It's not a bad paint job. I mean, really, it's not. That's that's a good-looking combo, but I'm bored with it, and the car's performance is meh at best. You can always get another one. Body work. I mean, you can't lose the fenders. You can give it cycle fenders. But some of them don't look quite as good. Could. Well, we can do that. We can do that, but completely belies the fact that the thing is slow. But it does make it look more visually interesting. The only other thing you can change. Put this turbo up. Yeah. This is the wheels, wheel type. What if we went with for like high end, high end chromes? None of that's really calling to me. What about tuners?
Okay, there's only one real other thing that we could do with this. Go for the dollars, turn it pink and gold, purple and, and gold, and make it another little runaround with a big engine. Would that be interesting enough? I'm willing to invest in it to try. Right How does that sound? Can we make this car? That should work now. now. So they fix the bug the catchers so that they do the butterflies work. Respray, primary, I can't remember which is which. Yeah, that's primary. See, here's the problem. That's why you can't really make it a true eliminator, is because you can't only get the bottom. The top is all wrong. You can make it red and white, I guess, but that's still not what you want out of it. We need the bright purple. Where is the bright purple? Come on. Go bright purple. We're going to go for lessent. Karina red. Go to the lights. Neon kit, neon layout, full, neon color, purple, so the question is, is this as another nightclub liveried car? Is that interesting enough? Oh no, the bug catcher. They fixed all the bug catchers. The bug catchers aren't working on it. Alright, that's annoying. So I guess the sum of the bug catchers have been fixed. Oh, that's too annoying. What miracle did you want me to perform? I'm just experimenting with different looks here. I mean, I just don't think. Uh, let's just let's leave that as it is. Fix the thing that we we're gonna fix. Is it better with the stock hood? Does the chrome clash with the gold? I mean, clashing's okay. Well, it looks shinier. It is very nightclub-y. It, it could work if we park it next to... If we park it next to the, uh, the Pluto, maybe we start to come up with a theme. Not good. Yeah, uh, failing the stunt jump, that's not bad, sir. 
Actually, it hit a bad sign. I mean, we can't sell for 48 minutes anymore. At some point, probably, I'm going to sell it, right? Just to tell me. Tell me, man. If I can get rid of enough of these bugs. Eh. I guess it's good enough. for Good enough for now. Good enough for now. What's wrong with her now? Not a sale on this either. We're gonna, that do the trick. we're gonna take one long last look at the the dew yellow. And maybe one last look at the at the uh, the stock wheels. And I go back to the original paint job. I don't know if it's the one I actually that actually was on the car when I grabbed it. I'm pretty sure this was a stolen car. We're gonna go to the respray. Alec, up in the grays. See, I think it was originally, I think I originally had it as black steel. And that works. I think, I think shadow silver might be a little bit better. Might be more what I'm looking for. But I'm open-minded. Okay, that's sunrise orange over grace red which kind of gives it it's a little bit more orange than my own 94 t for 94 96 the, the, 90, the 94 was just straight up grace red this is a little bit that's more of an orange hue than really it has that's a little bit overpowered let me look let me try a different mix here metallic yeah that's what I don't know, maybe we should just do the carbon black. That, that looks, it matches this suit. That carbon black looks, yeah, let's do that. It's going to be hard to dial in a perfect red Thunderbird look. And I can't just save that for when they finally give us, dare I say it, the fortune. I really want them to give us the fortune. Let's look at uh, wheels. Wheel type, low rider. Chrome, uh, maybe even not. Stock rims. There's some. There's some niceness to that. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go chrome. Now, the flares are actually similar to a uh, the '77 T-Bird that I grew up on. Had wheels like that. Actually, so did my old Buick. Let's go with those. No 81 if Buick. That car was a woman, I'd chrome, kiss her. chrome flares. Tires. Customs. Sorry, got the bulletproof. We don't need funky smoke. Sorry, got. I didn't know it had lights on it. That works. That does work. I totally forget. What was significant about this FQT? I remember I got it. I was thinking, probably in terms of roleplay, that it would be a good office car to have. It's painted like my Taurus. So, I mean, there's that. But obviously, my Taurus isn't, you know, anything like this. And I need space. I think we're going to have to say goodbye to the FQ2. The Fathom FQ2. Comfortable, pleasant car. I mean, it rides nice. It's not overly slow, but I mean, I do have the fastest FU, FU feet. I mean, it's really not a bad car. You can always get another one, and I already own a Tauros, which is the fastest SUV you got going. So this is really somewhat redundant.
sell. 27. Bye bye. Los Santos is a dangerous place, and vehicle crashes are at an all time high. No one knows this better than Morse Mutual Insurance. Take out full coverage insurance with us, and we'll replace your vehicle free of charge. Morse Mutual Insurance is sold at participating garages. I didn't have my headphones on, I have no idea what they just said. I'm throwing my headphones on so I can hear for the future. And again, why, why can we not have the interesting game? Come on, guys. We need it. Okay, I'm thinking. Okay, let, let, let's just exit the vehicle for a moment. Exit the workshop. I got these three vehicles. All right, the Redwood Gauntlet, uh, the Burger Shot over here, Burger Shot Stallion, because they're free. Same with the this one here. I think this one I might have modified. That one have some modifications to it. If we go to sell, is there any value? Two thousand dollars. So will let me sell this vehicle for two thousand. Yeah. I didn't think I waited the the forty five minutes needed to sell that. Did they did they get rid of that? Are they having to wait a full game day before selling another car. I didn't think I rolled through. Maybe I did. All right, this one's that one's getting been invested in, but that might not be as. But this one I know is worthless. Look, not literally worthless, but I've I haven't put anything into it. It is as stock as the day is long. I have never used these. Sell V. Did they get rid of that? There used to be a whole thing where you couldn't sell vehicles. Oh, am I ever going to race the burger shot? Am I ever going to do anything with this Camaro? Now, this wasn't a freebie, so I wonder if that's... Yeah, I like the Vajero and all. Okay, wait a minute. Now, this says, sorry, we don't need any vehicles right now. Okay, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. So, if I go to sell this one, sorry, we don't need any vehicles right now. Okay, let's just exit the workshop. So, maybe it's the fact that the freebies were freebies. That you can get rid of them anytime you want. I just need space. Yeah, it'll let you do the freebies anytime you want. And you're, all you're getting back is what you invested. Well, that's good to know. I don't know. I have to, let's, let's exit the arena with this for a moment. How does it feel? GTS, but well, I want to put something else in this spot. The burger shot was always my favorite of the uh, of the three. We'll see. Maybe we have enough for you now. How many free spaces do we have in that kind of specials? Empty, that's for something specific, I think. One, 
two. There's two spots. Mm -hmm. Considering I might sell the Vajero, because I've, I've always had plans for it and I've never done anything with it. And you could say the same thing for what is this, the tulip, or is this the other one? This is the four door, yes, the tulip. I've never done anything with the, uh, the tulip. I don't even have a plan for it. Badger 42. The right color, the right paint job, maybe. Those Santos Knights. Eh. Yeah. Now it's willing to let me sell this one. I just cross over at times and I don't even know what's going on anymore. Now this, this was kind of cool. I mean, I, I grabbed it. I think I tweaked it up a little bit, just a little bit. And the paint scheme is original. I mean, it's got a very black knight paint scheme. I remember I, I grabbed Vans at some point because the the role play kind of aspect of you know, it was, you could theoretically sleep here. You could set this as your start point. But where would that be? I mean, maybe there'd be. There's nowhere really to settle in for the night in there. There's no office. There's no, you know, lay across the thing. So I decided, hey, let's put a little kind of just put a van in, in these places so that you could theoretically, you know, snuggle in for the evening there. Well, I've never really done that. We do have, I think this would probably be better, don't you think? As far as... Just stretching out on the back seat or in the cargo of the of an armored car. That would be better. I can't imagine this is entirely too comfy. And it's not like I don't have a couple of surfers. One Rusty, one good over on uh, the Rusty Jack's account. So, here's the other trick. This is one of the slowest vehicles in the game. So while it looks cool, its utility is really minimal. So I'm afraid we're gonna have to say goodbye to this server. Yep, yep, yep. One of the best looking cars in the game. It's too bad they didn't give it a little bit more performance. I and mean, I realize it's supposed to be an air-cooled beetle, but I mean, you know, beetle bug truck. But I mean, just think of the potential here. You know, they could. LS swap this puppy. I mean, there's you could have made this. I'm sure there's quick ones. I know, and Fluffy's gonna be all upset here. You know, Gabriel Iglesias collects these things. I don't mean the in-game ones. He's he's down with it. He's he's all about them. But this is don't go bye bye. And not for a lot of dosh either. Bye bye. 
one more slot. For the longest time, here in my Top Gear Grand Tour garage, this vehicle, this Red Insurgent, has symbolized the Marauder that uh, Richard Hammond drove through Johannesburg in one of the one of the Top Gear episodes. And it's not a perfect representation. I mean, it's it's certainly fits the bill for what that vehicle was. Probably not quite as big as the Marauder, which is saying something. But it certainly, you know, could drive through stuff the way that did and all that kind of thing. But it's it's a good vehicle. I got this, I want to say, for free. So therefore, it's, it's one of those things where I'm not going to get any money for it if I were to sell it. And it would be hard to replace. So I'm not, I don't want to get rid of this. And there may come a point where I really feel like it has to be in the Top Gear garage. But, I'm out of room. I mean, there's just enough stuff going on here. There's not a lot of, not a lot of space. We see this looking at something here. I thought I had these stacked up with the. Did I get a an 811? Like the Zentoro shouldn't be there. It should be stacked with the. Where's my 811? Why is the 11? Okay, we have to move that. The whole point of getting the 811 was to stack it with those cards there. And of course, there you have like basically the closest I can come to the three cars from the first episode of the Grand Tour. There you go. So, that's you can see the kind of thing I'm doing here. I mean, you know, the Lambos, the, uh, these are all cars. You're featured somewhere along the line on the Grand Tour, or it would fit. You know, that kind of thing. It's, it's a, it's kind of like a fancied up way of saying, here's my supercar garage. Although, you know, there's certain things like this motorcycle. That's very much a Hammond thing here. You know, it's... They've done multiple lot of it stuff, you know. There's been, they've done a lot of a lot of stuff. Obviously, here of course is the one buggy I kept from the the, the buggy episode of the Grand Tour, uh, only because it had a wing, therefore it'd be fully upgraded. And of course now, I mean, since I've repainted this purple and now it's a Tyler Hoover, I could use it to make some space, but we'll see down the road. This has got to stay here. Obviously, one of the most epic epic videos of Richard Hammond's tour there as far as I'm concerned it was and this is really close to what he was actually driving that's pretty perfect so but this is not quite a full representation of the Marauder but I don't want to get rid of it but I do have a use for it so follow me on this I mean it certainly fits the bill where you don't worry about pumping into things just like he said Chris, he didn't really well he ran over some stuff but not live traffic he didn't hit, take out any Serious traffic. Like I am going through here. Excuse me. Excuse me. I'm just trying to get to the garage. All right, just settle down. Yeah. Okay. Even some better lighting here anyway, you can really get a look at it. But this Weasel News Van. I had put this in here. I mean obviously it goes back to the, the old days of GTA. There's very few things where you can get, you know, a Liberty News Van or something. Like you can't get police cars or something like that, but you can get a news van. But it's not it's not really welcome. It's not really something where you're going to have a use for it. You can grab one anytime you want. There's no point in, in saving this as far as, you know, other than if you're going to decorate your garage. And this was a, a garage decoration. Again, uh, just like the, the Surfer, this was going to be my place to sleep if I decided to uh, 
land my character here, have this be the starting place for my character. Symbolically, you know, where well, where would you spend your time? Would you be sleeping in the back of the, the felon? No, no, you'd need like a van or something just to be kind of comfortable. But now, you could put the insurgent down here. And this could be the, just in case you need to be hiding from someone in a garage apartment, just sleep in the back of this thing. And you, you want to get a couple pillows, I would imagine, you know, just to make you comfortable. But so now that means I can liberate the Weasel News Van. It pains me because maybe someday I could say, well, may I'll be in a, a Vans race with the top Vans are banned. But they hardly ever do that because... What can the best mechanic in LS do for you? Vans are so slow you need to use the fast ones anyway. So here we're just going to settle this puppy. For half of nothing. Bye bye. Whoosh. One more space. I need space. Go post the lead. That's just wrong. Let's see. Can you? Could I, in theory, park this in there? I mean, not that I want to go just trade one van for another. No, I don't think you can keep the pony. Like, you can have a gang burrito, but you can't keep a pony for some reason. See, why is it that you can have the burrito and not the pony? I think the pony's slower. I'm not sure. It makes not much sense. We have the Furia, and the Furia, I think, probably, well, I mean, should we leave it here for the time being? Can we see if it's actually been on the show? Because, I mean, you know, we do need, we do need space, and this, this will allow us to keep a free space in the time, in case I have to pull something in at the office. That'll work. Doesn't mean we can't drive it home, though. On the flip side of that logic, I do need to modify it. I do have a, a uh, workshop at the Maze Bank now after years, seven years of saying, well, why would I do that? There's a, there's a repair shop right up the road. Why would I want to? Blah, 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 blah. So, yeah, we will park there for right now. Let's find it at home. Let me bring it back down to Supply Street if need be. I tell you what, this is this is a nice car to drive. I feel like this car could it'll, it'll be interesting to see once I put turbos on it whether it becomes unmanageable or something like that. But right now. Wait, we use it in out. Oh, nice car. Well, I got this on like a radical Twitch Prime sale, but that's one of the reasons I'm trying to make sure. That I can continue to store these cars. Hopefully, we get a huge garage boost when the the next DLC comes along. You hate to have to sell off my apartment up in Palito Bay. For the simple purpose. Of getting four more car then? spaces. What are you after? Let's do the basics on this, just to do the basics on this. I kind of think the best way to stop could be not starting at all. Great for looks, but I don't want to get caught on anything. Yeah, let's not. Let's not. Do, let's just do the the basic engine tunes here. No accent. How Primary many cars accent. You got in this garage again? A bunch. Exhaust. Oh, that's funky. What does it look like down here then?
primary jet exhaust, secondary jet exhaust. Well, we haven't painted it anything yet, but as an accent, it might be nice. Yeah, nothing's really calling to me there. Kind of a Steelers thing if we go that. Ooh, and tricolor would be nice. Dark two tone. Ooh. Think long and hard. Think long and hard. Sure. I don't know if I want to give it a racing livery. Masterpiece, there he is. Dark Tutor, and that kind of puts you in mind of the. The Nero. Does, does cut out that, you know, does accent it well. The stripes work well. The dark two tone, though. Making decisions is stressful. Again, yeah, it does cut out the lines really nice. Let's go tricolor for right now. Or do we want to go black stripes and do it kind of a... That would tie the accents together all really well. When you can have anything. Yeah, let's go that way. Okay, so we did a little see Any more performance? Uh, mirrors, primary mirrors. Nah. Do you need a drink? Bubbles or something? Roof, primary. Yeah, this is a skirts. I don't usually like to widen or, or, or make the car even more shallow simply because if you want to catch on things, but I think that's safe enough. Leave the suspension, we don't want to slam it too hard. Whatever you desire. I feel like it's gonna bounce on stuff. I'm a racer. Tires. Give it bulletproofs. I'm not sure what I want to do with those yet. Whether we want to go full racing on this or not, and give it the off roaders. So at least it's raceable now. Quite the same as the car that we replaced here, but maybe we want to shuffle things around a little bit. But maybe we'll swap out the Zentorno. Oh, I'm gonna here. We're gonna put this one up here. Walk it over. 
this way. Just want to go down back down again. That breaks up all the white that's there. Look, you're missing a floor. All right. Then you move this interior over here. So you got the Lamborghinis together. And all my Lamborghinis. Guineas. Yeah, I think so. All right, that's organized. Because you know what? I think I might like just to drive this thing. It's kind of handy. Let's see how it feels now. It is livelier. Yeah, it's not. It is a little bit less manageable. Also significantly faster, so see yeah, when you go to cut through traffic it starts to hop. It's moving. It could be just a matter of remember how I was able to kind of make those quick cuts at full speed. an interesting thing. You can still do it if you lift a little bit. But it's definitely, now it's pushing the suspension as far as, you know, beyond what it can do. A little bit of extra power. Now, now you do that quick, you know, you do that moose maneuver. And you better think about it. Huh, isn't that interesting? Still, I'm not taking the turbo off. Well, you wouldn't do that, new. No. New. No. Then you got this little garage here. The magic garage, I always say, because it's only got one door on the outside and two on the in. Clearly, this isn't, this is too big. But because of that weirdness, I like it. Yeah, I'm not going to get it. I'm going to get trade for a 10 car. So, we need to make some space. Now, I realize I have two of these, but they're hard fought. And I'd rather have one that I could just trick out and make really wild and weird. That's going to be this one. This, on the other hand, although it did get me out of a jam, as I recall. Like, I, I stole this to escape something or other. And, you know, the Landstalker, it's great as far as being, like, you know, for what it actually is. Like, I wouldn't mind driving this car. You know, it's like, I wouldn't mind having a Landstalker. It would be great in real life. It's a great go-to-church car. Take the family to the store, kind of, you know sort of thing but you know in the realm of this game it's not fast it's not particularly satisfying to drive or anything like that I don't think it's not like if I was gonna walk in its garage and take anything out it would be it would be the Camacho I mean the Camacho you could you can yes it's all weirded out with shovels and stuff like that but I mean you know it's got a good paint job it's got a nice interior you could you know you could take this as your go-to-church car, and only, well, I mean, maybe with the ammo box in the back, people would freak, but I mean, still, you can work with that. Even really, if you if we properly do this one up, that could be a more formal vehicle, too. I might get silly with this one. Silly, I tell you. This one... I think we have to say goodbye to the Landstalker. I've enjoyed having it in here, especially from a role play kind of thing. Oh, 
Oh, it's the wrong button. Wrong button! And we can always get another one. It's, you know, you have to look at how easy is it to replace when you're gonna get rid of it. And this is pretty easy to replace. It does drift nice, we'll give it that. Ding it up too much. What brings you in today? Can we sell it yet? Or is it too early? Yeah, too early. Well, now you know what. I'm not going to go over this again. You'll know what happened to it eventually. It's Okay, I can't stress this enough exactly how funny I think this garage is. Hold on. Back up. Because just. Look at it. Now, this garage obviously will barely fit this car. You would probably have a tough time even looking at. I want to climb on the roof. Can I? There must be a way. My gate's broken. No, don't jump, don't jump down there. You jump up and then leap. No, don't jump over. Jump. This isn't do what I want. Okay, maybe. From here. Come on. Up on the awning. How hard is it to get an aerial view of the... I'm trying to make a point. Dad, give it... Okay, wait a minute. Let's do... Inventory. Launch Nano Drone. Here we go. Glad we got these. All right. Now, clearly, from up here, you can see how big, I mean, the Landstalker's probably going to fit in there lengthwise, not by much. It's going to take up a lot of it. You could maybe, maybe get a couple cars in there. Now, I'm not complaining. I don't want Rockstar to say, all right, we're going to obey physics and make this a two-car garage. I applaud their decision. <coughs> it's so nano. Can you shoot yourself with this? No, you can't shoot yourself. Okay. What about... Oh, somehow I... Rash. I was going to try and blow myself up, but that's probably... I probably would have blown the vehicle up and it would have all been weird. But watch this. You drive it in here. It's like, yeah. It, it looks so clearly just fitting in there. And all of a sudden, poof, it's a TARDIS. <laughs> 